Early tripods were made out of wood. They were heavy and cumbersome. Their design and materials have improved over time to meet the needs of both hobbyists and professionals alike. Today's state-of-the-art tripod is lightweight, collapsible, and equipped with precision adjustments. Contemporary tripods are made from aluminum tubes that have four different diameters. The tubes are electro-welded and anodized for precision, hardness, and durability. A machine cuts the tubes to the required lengths. A press expands one end of the D-shaped tubes to keep the smaller diameters in place. Here are two of the different size diameter tubes. A worker inserts a tube into this machine. It uses a high precision laser to etch the company's name into the aluminum. The laser process turns the etched aluminum white. They coat aluminum castings with powdered paint. The casting is part of a component called a spider. It connects the tripod's legs. Once painted, the components are taken to a CNC machine. The machine shapes the parts to the designer's exact specifications. A worker puts foam sleeves called leg warmers on two of the tripod's three legs. The sleeves allow photographers to easily handle the legs in extreme temperatures. The worker uses a pressurized air device to open the sleeve, then she inserts the leg. She uses a specialized machine to add the top hinge collar to the upper leg section. The parts were designed to work together and click neatly into place. Next, she applies the locking collars. When a photographer adjusts the legs, the locking collars will hold them in place. She threads a bolt through the collar ends and adds a quick release lever to the assembly. Then she fastens all the components in place. The levers are ergonomically designed and can be opened with one hand. She presses bushings into place on the upper collar to complete the leg assembly. Now the tripod is ready for the next phase. But first, the worker performs a quick quality control check. She makes sure the legs slide in and out correctly. Then she checks the locking collars. Next, she brings the legs together to form the tripod. She positions the bottom of the spider component on a specially designed support mechanism. She installs the legs and caps them with the top of the spider. Then she bolts everything in place. Next, a worker assembles the tripod head. The state-of-the-art component can be adjusted in three directions. She places plastic rings between the three main parts to ensure smooth and accurate adjustments. She installs leveling bubbles to help photographers accurately position their cameras. She adds the upper plate and the adjustment knobs. The plate screws into the camera, which conveniently mounts onto the tripod. The knobs also adjust for easy storage and transport. She labels a knob to indicate the scale of friction intensity. Once the entire head assembly is complete, a worker carefully threads it onto the tripod column. The final step in the assembly process is to slide the column and head down through the spreader. A worker checks to ensure the mechanism is working correctly, then tightens the locking knob. The finished tripod is lightweight, compact, and durable. This tripod is ideal for both professionals and hobbyists.